In this Excel lesson, I want to talk about some of your viewing options and specifically dealing with rather large worksheets because they can be huge. So here I've got a pretty big spreadsheet and as I scroll down, I no longer see what these columns mean. So they're just random numbers. I can tell that these numbers belong to employee 531. But aside from that, I don't really see what they mean because I lost my labels. And if I scroll over to the right, I'm also going to lose those labels. So I have absolutely no idea what I'm reading here. They're just a bunch of random numbers. So one of the first things you need to know is that you can freeze things. So I can set this up so that row four is always going to be there. And the trick is I need to select the row below first. And then I go to view and then I ask to freeze panes. So now, as I scroll down, row four is just going to stay there all the time. I'm not going to lose it. Problem is, as I scroll to the right, I'm still losing what I had in A. So I'm going to unfreeze. You can only have one selection frozen at a time. So I'm going to unfreeze. If I wanted to see column A at all times, I would select the one after. Okay, so when I did the row, I selected the one after. When I'm doing the column, I also select the one after. And then I go to freeze and freeze panes. And now as I scroll to the right, I will continuously see 521. The problem is, of course, I unfroze five. So as I scroll down, I'm losing that. So if you want to see both your labels at the left and your labels at the top, I need to unfreeze again. You need to freeze both. So I need to freeze row four by selecting something in row five, and I need to select B, or sorry, I need to freeze A by selecting something in B. So the rule for both is pick the one after. So I need to select five and B. So the only way to split row four and column A is by simply selecting B five. That's where I need to be. And now when I go to freeze panes, it's split both ways. If I scroll down, four is staying. And if I scroll to the right, A is staying. So you need to identify the exact cell that intersects perfectly. And the exact cell will be below and to the right of the columns and rows that you need to be frozen. So that's freezing panes. You're going to need to use that when you get into big spreadsheets. Trust me, otherwise you are just absolutely lost. Especially if you're the person doing the data entry, somebody had to type all these numbers in for the appropriate people in the appropriate days and they needed to have their window frozen in order to do that properly. Something very similar to freezing, but not exactly the same, so I'm gonna unfreeze these now, is you can split your window. Now, that's from this menu here. And whatever cell you happen to be in, that's where it split. So right now, because I was in B5, it's split. Now splitting is a little more powerful than freezing because you can go into any window now. So now I have four windows. It split my window in four. And now I have the ability to go up and down, left to right, in any of the windows. Now you'll need to determine which of these features you're going to want to use. If I select row 20, I can split and I can work at the top of my, my sheet and scroll through the bottom of my sheet. And I could have done the same thing. So I'm going to remove the split here and I could have done the same thing here and split this way. So those are two ways of working in a really big spreadsheet. The other thing, the other way that you can is if you don't want to see all of the days and you simply want to see the stats at the end, the total, the rates, the base pay, if you want to see all of that stuff without having to scroll back and forth, you can select all of those and hide them. Okay, so I'm simply going to come here and hide
Now, apparently that hid the whole sheet as you saw. So I'm gonna right click instead and then hide. And that just hid my selection. So apparently hide hides the whole sheet, the current window. Right click hide hides only those cells. Now to bring them back is actually quite difficult. I was hoping that would work, but we've seen what that did. If I right click on A, it'll only unhide B. So if I hit unhide here, it actually didn't even unhide B. And if I do AF and unhide, it didn't unhide anything. What you'll need to do is select both of these and then hit unhide. And now they all come back. Okay, so that gives you the ability to hide or unhide. So three options there for working in really big spreadsheets and you will one day work in a really big spreadsheet.